Hello dear friend, hope you're doing well. I have seen two cases in the last shift. I would like to share these cases with you, so stay tuned. The ECG you see now may give you a picture similar to left ventricular hypertrophy or a picture similar to ST elevation MI or peak T wave. But if you pay attention to the calibration, you will see that the calibration high is higher than the standard measurement. The point I like to tell you about is that if you don't pay attention to the calibration, you may reach a false diagnosis. In this case, I have paid my attention to the calibration and I asked the nurse to make the calibration on the standard measurement, which is two large squares in height. The same idea is being explained in the low voltage ECG. Presented to me with this ECG, which is not correlated with the clinical status of the patient. And I told the nurse to make the calibration on the standard measurement, which is two large squares in height, and the ECG was normal. One of my friends, Dr. Marwan Asalehi, have seen a case with acute coronary syndrome presentation, and he sent her to the ECG room. But the ECG didn't show any ST elevation, but he paid attention to the calibration of that ECG, and it was low voltage. And he said that he was sure that this ECG is ST elevation as soon as the calibration is being on the standard measurement. So when we made the ECG on the standard measurement, the ST elevation was obvious. So we should pay attention to the name, age, date, and calibration. Why? Because these are primitive things that may change the diagnosis 100%. And remember that our goal is not to read the ECG as fast as we can, but our goal is to read the ECG as best as we can. Don't forget to subscribe for Medicophilic and to share the video with your friends. Thank you so much.